He won't see me coming this time. They've gathered his things to send to his family. Will they also get a medal and a pat on the back? <laughs> it's in better shape than the morgue. They didn't expect to have so many casualties. It hurts like hell, <clears throat> but I showed them. Fire is the only solution. doing here we we've got to go back we have to we can't let them live they've already lost many men She died instantly. An annotated Bible. It belongs to Walter Stanford. I can almost smell his presence. Chris, can you hear me? Shit! He was answering a few minutes ago. <coughs> Can you call for someone? Chris!
I need morphine. The duck won't take long. The psychos, they attacked us. Hmm. The dog didn't do things halfway. I've never seen anything like it. An enormous beast. I don't know how I'm still alive. I'll remember this night for a long time. For my whole life. Please, help me. Help me. I know I'm gonna die. They won't say it to my face, but I know it. How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. My faith is my shield. I've heard of mortals able to turn us away through the strength of their convictions. I'd never have believed it was anything more than legend. You have failed. Not yet. You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for. We won't disappear without a fight. The war is already won. We've proven we're much more powerful than you. You took us by surprise, but now we've been warned. The battle will be long. Resistant, like cockroaches. Unlike you, we have all of eternity before us. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? To put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. You won't be there to witness our downfall. I'll see to that. That's not important to me. You're the mastermind of this attack. The outcome must be important to you. I'm prepared to lay down my life for our cause. 
Isn't it a pity to die with the thought that this might all have been for naught? My fate is insignificant when weighed against the imperative of your destruction. You would make me a martyr, that's all. I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, calmed tormented minds. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites! It's our nature. One that I am duty-bound to fight. For the good of this world! But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very Earth with your presence. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. And what about you? You live in secrecy. You lie to those you feign to protect. No government dares stand up to you. But we're doing nothing more than defending them. For now. But that's how tyrants are born. You're no better than us. I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption. Down to the very last. That may be what you believe, but there are others who disagree. What? The head of the SAD thinks he can use us to his advantage. And he's not the only one. 
Like so many terrorists moved like pawns on a geopolitical chessboard. I will never let that happen. It's above your pay grade, and you know it. I... must try. In the end, only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight when the outcome is already decided? You gave me the location of your hideout. It will soon be purified. Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? I must protect my kind. Abominations of your ill don't give a damn about each other's welfare. Individualism, the survival of the fittest. That's all that matters to you. It's high time I put an end to all of this. You have nothing left. I can't anymore. You're finished. Along with the rest of your kind. Eke kukem domine fujita partes adversae. No, no. Amem, thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that... <sighs> Are you alright? You're not hurt? No. You're all worked up over nothing. I'm fine. Not over nothing. It was a suicide mission. I know. The Anarchs didn't make it out. What are you talking about? Randall Thane. The Anarchs. They helped me on Long Island. But they were all destroyed. You're back. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's... important. And personal. Are you coming? All right, but it has to be quick. Hazel's expecting me. It won't take long. Come with me. Do you want me to ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time. What did you want to talk about? I know that Hazel offered you a seat on the council. I was sure you'd disapprove of it. Mem, she's offered you my seat. She never said anything about replacing you. She's not blind. She's seen you growing more influential. Not as much as me, but nearly. By bringing you into the Primogen, she hopes that the student will surpass the master, and that I'll end up losing all credibility. Then, why does Hazel want to get rid of you? Who knows? The powers made her paranoid. She's afraid of her own shadow. She must think I'm a threat. It'll happen to you, too, if you accept the seat. Are you going to accept? a golden opportunity. Of course I'm going to accept it. I think I've more than earned it. I never said you hadn't. But there's a difference between being the prince's foot soldier and being invested in the city's politics. What? You don't believe I'm up to the task? I think you're making a mistake. <sighs> Listen, I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but I'm trying to help you. You lose everything if you accept her offer. Your freedom, your music... Everything. You've seen the sacrifices that Hazel will ask you to make. The Anarchs. Yes. It's a heavy burden to bear. Leave it to me. I'm going to take what's mine. I deserve that seat. It's not a game, M.M. You don't understand what the consequences are. Oh, I understand them better than you imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me... Hazel's expecting me.
You made your choice. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. We demonstrated that our ability to adapt and change are the keys to our domination. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. Those who fought by our side and who quenched their thirst for the blood of these mortals. We had to establish new agreements, forge new alliances, because this is how we strengthen our kind. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. Our old quarrels belong to the past. The trifles that separated us have been forgotten. Only one truth remains, our supremacy. Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. Sires, children, servants, all will remind mankind of its rightful place at the bottom of the food chain. Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow.